example, would be Rijal and Nisa, which you said does not mean that, it means something else. However, amongst Arabs, even Bedouins, that those two words have been well established for thousands of years, and that's how they use it. As you say, I mean, this is uh, the quite a common argument saying, okay, well, you're changing meanings of words now. <coughs> and I, have, well, I, I can understand where, where you're coming from, but I don't think that commonly used meanings necessarily reflect the Quranic meaning. Um, take, for example, Nisa and Rajab. Have a read of this book. Uh, it's called The Tao of Islam by Sachiko Murata. Uh, in this book, she shows from Arabic usage, albeit less commonly known, that Rajal and Nisa refers to certain spiritual states which one has achieved. In fact, um, I think the phrase, if, if, I, if I'm quoting correctly, Fatima, the, the daughter of the Prophet, was called Rajal because she achieved apparently some kind of spiritual unveiling. So I don't believe that you can use can use the argument that Arabic commonly means this, in Arabic it commonly means that. Arabic is a very vast language and the semantics behind it is, is amazing. I mean, I think the word jinn, for example, uh, in the Quranist community there have been very interesting interpretations of jinn. 